Welcome to Wine Fantastic's Wine Boutique. We're tasting Guternio Flitzente, made by a gentleman called Patrizio Campana in the Colli Piacentini region of Emilia Romagna. And that means the uh, middle north of central Italy and um, the hills of Piacenza. Of the region, Guternio is, is a classic. It's, it's a wine that everybody makes around the region. It's a wine that everybody drinks. And in fact, so much so that uh, Patrizio also uh, puts this in cakes as well and it's served on a draft in the uh, restaurants and bars. Sort of um, mid-red, you can just about see light through it. Very lifted nose of sherry. It's a light nose, isn't it? It's, um, well, when I say light, I don't mean light in terms of power, but it's got lots of high notes. And, um, yeah, very kind of fresh, clean. Jumping out the glass, isn't it? Being a frizzante wine, there is a sparkle in this wine. And that, even for a red wine, is perfectly normal in the region, Amiga Romagna. Uh, but we, we're just not so used to it here. But a full spumante wine would be fizzy. This is just gently prickly, isn't it, in the mouth? And what that lends to the wine as well, that kind of, that, those cherry, those dark cherry flavours get pushed and sink through the mouth, and that, that frizzante kind of coats around and moves around and kind of um, yeah, makes it very refreshing. Wine. It is. It's. It's not a. I don't think it's a serious wine at all. I think it's a light, easy, uh, quaffing wine, which on the label um, it suggests that uh, you serve it at 16 to 18 degrees. I always thought you chilled a wine like this, and uh, when I asked Patrizio about this, he said, "No, no, no, you chill it." Um, I don't know why he doesn't change his label, but the label says 16 to 18. I think it should be 10 degrees or lower. So somewhere in between cellar temperature and fridge temperature would work for me. Uh, and, and I would drink this um, on any white wine occasion. Yep. Uh, I think it works well as an aperitif as well because that refreshing kind of cleansing yeah. agent to it. But uh, I think it would work all through dinner. I think even with desserts it would pair well. Yeah. Um, but it's, I always make the mistake of when people pull out that it's a bit of a fun wine with a fizzanti. That a fun wine can't be serious in the sense that it can't go with me and it can't be... Oh, that's what we mean. Be, yeah, we can't be thought about. Can't yeah. be considered yeah. as a as a wine to be drunk seriously. But this has got some. This has got interest. That can be interested through the possible. Mm -hmm. so. No, we, we, we do well with this. There's a there's an expat Emilia Romagna community in the UK who drink a great deal of this wine, and uh, we we uh, we toast them. Cheers.